Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be testing out some new drugstore items. So some of these have come out within the past couple of months. Some of these are just new products to me personally. I haven't just gotten around to purchasing these from the drugstore. So this is also going to be a kind of first impressions. I'm just gonna be testing out the makeup on my face and letting you guys know how I feel about it. I have some Flower Beauty things, Wet n Wild, Maybelline, and you'll see the rest. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. So for this video, I'm just going to be showing you the steps of my makeup routine where I do have new products. I'm kind of going to skip over the parts where I don't have new products. So that is why I've already applied foundation and concealer. I also did my eyebrows. So the first product I have is Maybelline Fit Me Powder. So uh, this is definitely new to me. Been out for a while, I'd say like a few months, but it's still fairly new. I did want to buy it when it first came out, but I kind of just, I already have my Cody Airspun, which is a powder I really love. I just kind of didn't think I really needed this, but I was recently at Ulta and I kind of saw it and kind of wanted to try it out, test it out. So I have the shade Fair Light. I'm hoping this isn't like too dark to bake with. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. So this powder has a bunch of different colors as well. I don't think they had a translucent shade. It had like a really pale shade, but I wasn't, I didn't know if it was translucent or not and it didn't say translucent. But I have heard a lot of good things about this powder, so I'm interested to see how well it performs. So I'm gonna kind of dust off the powder. So, so far it looks good. I was scared it was going to darken my eyes, but it actually didn't do that. So um, the color match looks pretty good. But it's kind of already the afternoon and I would do like a checkup on how the powder holds up. Might want to do a separate video, maybe testing this powder out, the Maybelline powder out versus like Laura Mercier. And maybe do a full day wear test of like one powder on each side and kind of see which holds up better because I do have oily skin, so I think it'd be interesting to see which holds up better on my oily skin. But yeah, so far, um, this powder looks pretty good. Um, so I don't have bronzer. I also don't have anything having to do with like eyes, like eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do that all off camera and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, put on a little bit of eyeshadow and bronzer. So the next product I want to test out is a blush from Flower Beauty. I've heard a lot about these blushes. I've seen a bunch of YouTubers actually talk about them. So I thought I would try it out. And I've been wanting to try out more Flower Beauty products. So I actually have two Flower Beauty products in this video. So this blush is in the shade Peach Primrose. It looks a lot less peachy, but it's um, in person. It's like very, very peachy, kind of orangey. It has like a really strong orange undertone, which I really like in blushes. I think orangey toned blushes can be very flattering. So I'm going to try this shade out. So this actually looks like it's a matte blush. Oh whoa, that matches like my eyeshadow perfectly. I might have grabbed too much, but it is a really pretty shade. So the next product I am super excited to try out. So it is a highlighter from Wet n Wild. And so this is definitely not a new product. These have kind of been out for a while, but I just haven't gotten around to testing them. Of this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. I have a few other shades, but I've heard this formula is like amazing. And of course, Wet n Wild is very, very affordable. I think this highlighter probably was like four or five bucks, so. Wow. Did you see that? Do I have a, is this gonna be my new favorite highlighter? It might. Now I kinda wanna get other colors or other shades. Okay, so now I have two new lip products that I want to try out. So the first is from CoverGirl, and this definitely isn't like a very new product. I've never tried any CoverGirl lipsticks. This is a CoverGirl Colorlicious Lipstick, shade Tempting Toffee. I'm on my lips while I talk. I was at Walgreens and I saw the CoverGirl lipstick, and all I read was like shea butter was in it, and I just immediately picked it up. So you know I like my lips to be moisturized. Like, no dry lips. Okay, so let's try this lipstick. It 
some reason, I always buy lipsticks that kind of are like very close to my lip color. And I really need to stop doing that. It's hard to tell like, you know, if there's pigment and whatnot. Okay, so this is kind of what the color looks like. I know it's very similar to my lip shade. I'm gonna swatch it actually. Okay, so that's what it looks like swatched. I went over it a few times. It is a definitely a sheer formula and there's a little bit of a sheen to it, not too much. It's definitely one of those lipsticks that are supposed to be very moisturizing and comfortable. Okay, so next I have a lip gloss to try out. So it is a Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. So Maybelline has a few different types of like lip glosses, lipsticks in this Vivid Hot to Lacquer line. They obviously have lip glosses and they also have mattifying liquid lipstick. So I decided to try this lip gloss. It is in the shade Unreal. I swatched it and it's very, very pigmented. So this is what that looks like swatched. Wow. Okay, so I can tell this lip gloss is very, very pigmented. Um, I probably didn't even need to use anything underneath because it's so pigmented. So I'd say you could use these without anything underneath, just either if you want to line your lips or not and put this on top. I really like this shade too. It's a little deeper than what I usually wear, but I mean, I have so many nude lip glosses that I thought I might as well go with something a little bit deeper. So the last thing I have to try out is a Flower Beauty setting spray. So this is their Hydrating Setting Mist. Now, all the setting sprays I have are mattifying. I don't really go for a lot of hydrating things in general, but I thought I would try out a hydrating setting spray. So let's just try this out, see how the sprayer is, see how it feels. Oh my gosh, this mister is so good. Okay, so this mister is, okay, I don't know if you can see this, but like the mist is so fine. So obviously it's not an ongoing mist, kind of like the Morphe setting spray. It just keeps continually spraying out, but this mist is really, really good. So my Urban Decay um, D-Slick setting spray. The mist is okay. So this mister for the Urban Decay one, it definitely puts out more liquid. Whereas this one is like, it's a very fine mist. Because sometimes some misters can spray out too much liquid at a time and then you get all this like liquid droplets on you it could potentially you know ruin your makeup most of the time it doesn't but a lot of people don't like those type of misters they like one that's really fine this mister is really really great so this is the finished look i use all those new products so i kind of want to go over them really quickly give you my thoughts on them so the maybelline fit me powder um so far i really really like it like i said it kind of is hard to tell if i really really like it yet because I haven't worn it throughout the day and seen how it's held up. So I'm thinking I might do another video kind of testing it out, out solely or comparing it to a different powder just to see how it holds up against another powder that I know can handle my oily skin. But so far, I think it looked, my Muna face looks really good. Foundation looks really good. Everything looks pretty good so far. So I'm gonna say this is pretty good so far. Um, but I will update you. Next is the Flower Beauty Blush. Um, I really, really like it. Um, it is kind of pigmented, but I think if you just dip your brush in there one or two times, you should have enough pigment. But the color is really, really stunning. It's definitely more orangey toned, more peachy toned than some of my other blushes, but I really, really like that. I don't mind the like very flushed kind of peachy look on my um, cheeks. Just be warned, it's very, very peachy, so. I mean, I'm pretty light skinned, so I'd say if you're lighter than me, just be careful, don't grab too much product. Next, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. Need I say more? I mean, for the price point, this is a incredible highlighter. If you like a very glowy highlight, then definitely pick this up. The CoverGirl lipstick, I really liked it. Um, I liked how moisturizing it is. 
could be a little bit more pigmented but I don't mind that it's not super super pigmented it's something that I will wear probably in more natural days if I'm wearing a more natural makeup look you absolutely need this lipstick no but if you're into very moisturizing natural looking lipsticks then you probably will really like this one so the Maybelline vivid hot lacquer gloss I really really liked I think I might go pick up some other colors of this because it is so gorgeous so pigmented and very glossy but it's not like sticking at all it feels very comfortable and I mean I really really like this shade again this is the shade unreal I have a decent amount of colors in this gloss so I think anyone would be able to find a shade that they like and last the flower beauty hydrating setting spray I really really liked it it's kind of hard to say how well this would hold up just based on first impressions because I haven't been wearing it all day long but it feels really good on the skin the mister is so good <laughs> seriously this mister is better than some of the high-end makeup setting sprays that I've used so I mean this is a really good deal I think this is around 12 bucks but I'd say the mister is definitely worth the price so yeah if you're in the market for a hydrating setting spray even a mattifying setting spray I would definitely try out these flower beauty ones so that is it for testing out some new drugstore products I really hope you guys enjoyed this video so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye